Benicio Ridruejo Jiménez, the 12th of October 1912 to the 29th of June 1975, was a Spanish poet and political figure associated with the Generation of 36 movement and a member of the Falange political party. He was co-author of the words to the Falangist anthem Cara al Sol. In later years, he fell from favor with the Francoist state and eventually became associated with opposition groups. Falangism Ridruejo was born in Burgo de Osma Ciudad de Osma, Soria. A close friend of Ramon Serrano Sunier, his tireless work as a propagandist, as well as his short stature and swarthy appearance, earned him the early nickname of the Spanish Joseph Goebbels. Under Serrano Sunier's influence, he was appointed as Minister of Propaganda to the cabinet of Francisco Franco in 1938. A strong phalangist and as a result sometimes in conflict with the military tendency within Francoism, he was censured during the Spanish Civil War by General Álvarez Arenas for producing propaganda leaflets in the Catalan language, with the military elite deciding that Spain's minority languages should be crushed rather than courted. Ridruejo's uneasiness with the conservative military elements of Franco's government was to prove his undoing. Thus his dismissal from the post of propaganda minister was secured in 1941 by his cabinet colleague Colonel Valentin Galarza Moranti after Ridruejo had published an article in Ariba condemning the hold that he felt the colonel had over Franco. Galarza used his influence to ensure the dismissal of Ridruejo and he would not return to government thereafter. He was also damaged by the fact that he had been active in support of Nazi Germany as other pro-Nazis such as Sancho de Villa y Fernández de Celis and Pedro Gamero del Castillo were dismissed at the same time. <laughs> Anti-Franco activity In 1955 the disillusioned Ridruejo set up a semi-clandestine club bringing together authentic phalangists with communists, socialists and democrats such as Enrique Mujica, Fernando Sánchez Drago, Ramón Tamames, José María Ruiz Gallardón, and others in a loose alliance united only by opposition to Francoist Spain. His opposition activity saw him jailed briefly the following year and again in 1957 when he told the Cuban radical journal Bohemia that he was active in the illegal opposition. By this point he had become involved with the Partido Social de Acción Democrática, an illegal opposition group that supported democratization and a liberal cultural outlook, as well as left-wing economic ideas. By the early 1960s Ridruejo's opposition activity saw him living in exile in South America. He published his autobiography, Escrito en España in Argentina in 1962 with the book also detailing his conversion from phalangism to social democracy which had occurred around this time. He returned to Spain late in life and died in Madrid in 1975. <inaudible> <inaudible> Poetry Ridruejo was a devotee of classical Spanish literature, as well as Dante and Plutarch and he produced poetry in a number of forms, ranging from Garcilaso de la Vega styled sonnets to blank verse. In the 1940s he was particularly noted for the religious tone of much of his poetry, often giving praise to God for his mercy. His later works are marked by a growing theme of existential angst, inspired by his disillusionment with Franco and his increasingly impoverished circumstances due to his fall from grace. See also Café Gijón, Madrid. <laughs>